Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Banished Season 1, Mountain Men. Go ahead and load up Edro here. Alrighty, let's see, where were we at? Ah, yes, making this bridge here. Don't have any workers, so let's go ahead and assign a worker to build this bridge. And we're going out of the Forager's Lodge and another hunting cabin over here. Check the ages of our kids here. Yeah, it looks like we definitely have someone that can move out. Already 20. Another laborer coming up here at age 8. 6 year old, 14 year old. Out of the Fisher's Hut, we've got an 8 year old and a 9 year old. We have about 2,500 food, so this is definitely a good time for us to expand, get our population going a little bit more. Go ahead and assign another worker, get this stuff done here. And we'll have the laborers bring everything over for the forester set. Okay, 2,600 food. Fishing is bringing in quite a bit. If we had a storage area a little bit closer, they'd actually be bringing in more. But I wanted this barn to be more centralized to the entire town. And not so much just next to the fish. You don't really need two storage barns with such a small place. Okay, Forester's Lodge has all its stuff brought to it. I want to prioritize this bridge first before that. And our firewood is all gone, so our fireworker has stopped being a laborer. He's going back to chopping, chopping wood. Let's have the other laborers bring everything for this. We definitely have everything we need for it. And the bridge is done. Excellent. So we have two foresters working this area, and they're only planting. They're not chopping. We'll have... A couple foresters over here, but they will be planting and chopping. Maybe they'll chop off down these woods over here. And our labor count is going up. We'll pause the building of the hunting cabin. And of course, get some roads going here. Like their path in that way. We'll wait until we actually see how they path first. So, in order to not have people working here, we will stop work here for now. And we'll do the same thing for the hunter's cabin because we don't want everyone to switch jobs and start working where they don't need to work. With this here, we'll probably have two hunters, two foresters, so we'll need two houses out here. Put those right along the road. Oh, I did not mean to pause that. I just accidentally paused that. That's why the workers stopped. I was wondering what was going on there. And our extra laborers, looks like we've got quite a few new influx of laborers come in, so we're up to about 27 people. Excellent. Go ahead and get this hunting cabin finished up. Because the deer are sitting right here, so this is definitely... We'll have good coverage with the hunting cabin with both of these. Bring in quite a bit of food. With all this food, influx of food we're going to be having, we can probably afford a tailor. Start getting us some clothing so people can stay out in the winter longer. It'll definitely work out really good for us. Let's go ahead and speed this up to 10, get this work done. Maybe throw another builder or two down so that they can finish building these quicker. Yeah, they're going to stop work on here because we don't want the people to start working until these houses are done. Alright, so Forester and a Builder moved there. Let's see here. Once we actually see how they're pathing, we'll have a better idea. 
Probably wouldn't hurt to put another storage barn in the middle of this as well. So we're gonna have food and leather coming through. Let's go ahead and designate that here then. Put it right there's a good spot. Alright, so these houses have people working, living in them. We're gonna up our forester to four, and we're gonna start work. Hunting cabin. We are going to up our limit of hunters to four. Start working it. Excellent. Let's see how they're pathing in between these places. Looks like they're still kind of pathing weird. Labor's bringing all the wood over. Oh, we're out of wood. How did that happen? Probably because of the fire wood issue earlier. Go ahead and up the priority there, get all the laborers we can getting this wood in. Because we are going to need more wood for winter. It's late spring, so we're doing alright for it. Might have to come down here and slash this down as well. We need all the trees we can right now. This will be another good reason why we have this trees going up here, because we need the extra lumber. So we're going to need a stockpile here for the extra lumber to be put in. Okay, excellent. Storage barn is ready to be constructed. Looks like we had a couple more people become laborers. Always good. And we have a decent amount of trees come up. Looks like we hack and slashed it all. There's a little bit more up here, so I'm going to take some more. Laborers out working. Looks like the trees are being planted pretty well here. Excellent. And they only harvest what's in their circle, so you can see here they're not going to harvest everything. They're only going to harvest what they can get. So our food production here for our gatherer's hut should stay steady. And over here we'll just get lumber. Okay, quite a bit of food here. Looks like the hunters have already brought in quite a bit of venison. Let's go ahead and finish this road. Let's see how they're pathing here. Is that going to be the best? Doesn't seem that good. How about we start here? How about we just build the roads that we know they're actually going to use? And then from there, we will build the roads that they're actually using. So looks like they're mostly pathing through this area here. Build that room. Have to cut down a little bit of trees in order to build it, but that's not that bad. Alrighty, our tools are good. Our food is good. Got this second area operational. Looks like they are cutting down these trees, which is good. So our supply of logs should have a steady, especially once these become adults, be a steady supply of logs for us. I think the next item on the agenda, let's go ahead and get a tailor. Get these people clothed. A little more productivity out of them in the wintertime. Let's go ahead and put it right here with the blacksmith. We'll also build a couple more roads. randomly assign a tailor. Just like we talked about last time, it's okay to do because they will default to a laborer until their job is available. 
will give us this icon. You can see that question mark there running around. They're like, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Because they don't have a job yet. Because they don't have a place to work. Let's go ahead and put our gatherers gathering up all this excess stuff. And we've kind of staked out a claim of this little area. We've got pretty much everything here that we can. We've gone across and claimed this little island. The wood's a little low. But, I think what we're going to need to do is expand over to this island area here, across the river. It's going to take a lot of wood to do, but we'll have access to a lot more wood once it's done. So it's going to take more wood than we have, so we're probably going to have to hack and slash some wood down. Let's just hack and slash this area up here. That will be replanted. Now our woodcutter is saying I don't have any wood, so we used it all on this bridge. Logs are low and our stone is low, but there is stone and logs over here, so as soon as we can access it, we should be good. We are getting this online, so we should be having more, more trees upcoming. Should be fine. Uh, yeah, that hacking and slashing is working good, and the bridge is coming up. So overall, looks like we're doing pretty good. We got firewood, we got food. The logs are a little low, but we started our renewable source of logs. We need to get some more iron for the blacksmith, or we're going to have a tool epidemic. So let's designate just getting the iron in this area first. Doesn't look like there's a lot. It looks like there's just that small section that we already got. There's all this over here as well. Let's just grab all of it. That'll be first on our priority because we're already down to six iron. If we don't get this iron, our tools are going to start running low. And that's a hard spiral to come out of once your tools are low. So now that we're getting a bigger population, let's up the limit to 15 on our tools. That way we don't hit a point where we have too many people and they're using all the tools faster than they can be made. So this area is growing nicely. It will produce some gathering food just automatically because it's next to trees. Since I'm planning on having this cut down, unless I'm in the real big need for food, I'm probably not going to have a builder hunter's gatherer's hut over here. The hunter's hut's good here because the deer do migrate into this area and they can collect it. Let's see here, they pulled in 800 venison last year. Quite a bit of leather. Speaking of our clothes, Probably want to drop this limit down. We don't want to use all of our leather up immediately. So let's drop it down to just 10 excess. And saying that they don't have any leather. I'm sure we have leather. Or did we use it all? We might have used it all. We didn't have a whole big store of it. Still have this cart here. It's a good little cart for food for these places. Once we get large enough, we'll probably get rid of it. But until then, we'll, we'll keep it around. People are running pretty far to get to this iron, but we really needed the iron so that we don't run out. Excellent. Deer all over here as well. I mean, this might be another good spot to do renewable wood. Really what I want to do is just slash it all down get enough resources to build a trading post. That way we can start to get traders in. And, I mean, this would be a decent this would be a decent little area for some livestock, or maybe even a little bit of crop growing. Crop growing really isn't as efficient as a uh, gatherer's hut is. 
It doesn't bring in as much food. It brings in a lot of food all at once. We have 4,600 food, so we're doing pretty good on the food market as long as we don't overexpand. I think they've kind of gathered in all of that, so I'm going to start designating just a general slash. Gather it all, keep my laborers working. Gather everything in this area. Stockpiles right here, so it's not very far. As we clear out this area, I might put a small temporary stockpile over here for now. But really, they're being pretty efficient as far as the gathering of their stuff. Here's here, so they're gonna have to go run and eat. And firewood. in this area quite nicely. Quite a bit of stone and wood. The trader's hut's going to take 40 iron, which we have, 80 stone, which we don't have, and 82 wood, which we have, but that's close to all of our wood. I guess we've been chopping down these trees. Okay, the woodcutter was off cutting stuff hack and slashing, so he wasn't actually producing wood there. He'll start producing it now. Everyone just went through and gathered everything for their houses. We have a good amount of stone back in these areas. That should be enough. I love watching the workers work. They clear things so fast at speed 10. It's pretty nice. Well, they produced a whole bunch of clothing, and everyone's clothed now, and we have some excess, so it's okay that there's not as much leather to be had. And the deer's right here. If we build another hunter's hut down here, we could access the deer that migrate in this area. It's just kind of interesting that the deer all hang around by the people that are just walking back and forth. You'd think that they'd have some AI built in to where they wouldn't do that, but... Oh well. It's not like a huge deal. Mm -hmm. They're slashing down this area quite good. We have the normal regrowth happening while they're doing it. So we'll get rid of everything that's grown since. And we will designate out some stone. Gather all that stone up. And then we should be good to build the trading post. I found the best thing to trade on the trading post is firewood. Might not be as good for us here because of the fact that we don't have a lot of firewood yet. But with this coming up online, they'll start chopping this down pretty good. We should have a pretty good flow of logs once these all become adult trees. And part of the reason is our limit of logs is reached. Let's raise that up to 500. Because at this point in time, we can never have too much logs. Our health is starting to decline a little bit. It might actually be good to get a herb gatherer in this area. That might be our, our next thing to do, because if our health declines too much, we'll kind of be a little sickly. Oh, our food limit's being hit. Well, that's good. Let's up our food limit, though. Let's see if they can hit 7,000 on the food. Yeah, it looks like they've gathered up all that stone. So, before we build the trader's hut, let's get an herb gatherer up. I want to get as much herbs as we can. There's going to... It's fun. Maybe over here it'd be a little bit better. Yeah, I like that spot better. We'll have the herb, herb gatherer there. 
It'll get rid of some of our adult trees and give us some more trees, but mostly it's so that we can actually get the herbs. We have quite a few laborers, so we actually need to start finding something for them to do. Because they're not very productive running around and just gathering up stuff. I mean, they're productive doing it, but if they had a job, it'd be better. So I guess for now, let's just designate an area to clear. Notice everything from there. Looks like they have to go quite a ways to do it, so let's designate another stockpile over here. Temporary stockpile here. And our herbivore, herbalist, is done. Just put one person work in that for now. Really, I think we can afford our trading post now. Let's go ahead and... Do we want to start mining first? Maybe let's start mining first. Got a good spot right in here, possibly. Maybe right here. There we go, there's a good mining spot. Start mining iron or coal. Really doesn't matter which one we do. But we can designate some of these people as miners. I mean, we have 5,000 food. So quite a bit of food. We need to be careful not to designate too many jobs that are non-food related because we definitely, as we grow population, are definitely going to need more and more food. Why do I have three hunters here? Did one of the hunters leave this cabin? They did. I don't like that. I don't want that to happen. I want to drop it down to two and two. I want an even spread of those hunters. Alright, all the materials for that was here. Used up quite a bit of our stone. So now we don't have enough for the trading post. That's okay. We can start getting iron or coal here. So where is our next area where we can actually get stone? Um, it's not that far away, so I guess we're going to designate this collection of stone here. Just gather all this stone up. The iron's looking alright, so we won't get iron, but... So we cleared this area out. Fire was low. definitely have room for whatever we're going to do over here. It's just a matter of trying to figure out what we're going to do. We're already at 32 adults. I know we had talked about not doing a quarry. Maybe a quarry over here would be a, a good thing, because we're kind of running out of stone. Stone is definitely something we need a lot of. There's really not a lot of surface stone left that we can get to that isn't over in this area. I mean, would require the fastest way would require a tunnel through the mountain, which takes a lot of stone, and then a bridge over this water, which also takes stone. So it's one of those catch-22 things. It's going to take a lot of stone to make this to get more stone, give us access to a lot more stone than we currently have. That's a lot of running around to do to get stone. Let's see how much stone it's actually going to take to get... It's going to take 80 stone and we have 90. We don't have really anything else that we need to get right this second, so... Let's go ahead and build our trader's hut. Find a spot where it works. I have to do it over here. Well, don't really want to cut into the fishers area though. It's not would not be good to cut into the fishing area. We 
We just have to do it a little upstream here. Right there. It's not too far away from anything, so we'll go ahead and get that done. Take half our iron, all of our stone. Uh, I think after I designated it already, I've taken stone over. Definitely need to get that going. And we need to decide, do we need more iron? I think we're going to need iron, not, not coal, from this area. We have 12 stone left. So we can build another house. House there, and we really need more stone now. Is there any stone I've missed? There's a little bit up here. That stone. Nice thing about quarries is they don't require stone. So to get a quarry, oh, there's a little bit of stone up here. Good. Gather all the stone. I'm not sure if they can walk along this to get to here, but we'll try. It's not an ideal situation for my workers to be running out there, but... We need the stone. And at least four more stone to build a second house. That way we can have three people getting iron, and one person working the trader's hut. Let's go ahead and up the limit on our fuel. Have a pretty steady flow of wood, and we're not really planning on building much else here. All right, we got ten stone. Good. And if they keep bringing stuff in, we might be able to afford another house. A couple more people on labor, building duty. Got quite a few laborers. Fishing up, our food is staying a good 5,000. House that says they don't have any firewood, but we know they do because we have firewood. They just had to go get it. And we will put one person here and three people in there getting iron. I think we could afford one more house. Might need another woodcutter, we'll see. Alright, well, we've, we've done good. We've established up our iron mine. Probably establish another mine over here to get coal. And we got the traders set up, but we don't really have a lot of goods to trade yet. We'll probably get tools up and running, wood and iron, and have tools to trade when they actually come. And we've got this wood coming up here good. It's producing a decent amount of wood, so that's good. So we'll go ahead and take a break here. This is the end of episode three. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day.